Sometimes we find, if we look around, our lives are filled with objects and things that really we don't love. And it's so important to reduce the things that we do not love and increase the things that we do. So one way to do that in the outside world, our, our visual plane, um, is to look around your space, look around your home, and see the things that you have filled your home with those objects that you think are important or that someone thought they were important and maybe you compromised, you didn't really like it, someone gave it to you so you keep it out. But every time you look at it, it doesn't bring you, does it bring you joy? Take a look and consciously turn on another aspect of, of viewing. And that aspect is, do I love this thing? How do I feel when I look at this thing? Maybe you don't even like it. Maybe it reminds you of an event that, or a person that uh, you don't even feel close to. Um, and yet you feel somehow compelled to keep it in a space uh, in your home. Well, one of the ways to become more real about who we are is to let the space around us define, help define those choices about who we are by consciously choosing what you want in physical reality around you. So one way to do that is um, to take a one of those clear crates, something that's large enough to hold things, easy enough to move around with you, and take even one room at a time and just take a look at maybe it's a, a bookshelf not 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 that you would go through all the books in this moment in this in this particular video is, is not what I'm suggesting it's more like knickknacks things that uh, maybe have belonged to others that have been passed down um, or been given to us by other people and uh, or whatever it might be so just take a look around the space that you live in and and see how you feel when you look at the object if that object does not lift your spirits, if that does not give you some joy in looking at it, um, and especially if it's a negative reaction to it, remove it. If you can recycle it, wonderful. If you can trash it, that's fine too. I always think, you know, no matter what trash we think we have, someone else could make use of it, so I'd always rather recycle it and give it to another, give it away. Um, but uh, even if you can't make those decisions at this point, the first step is, and it's the easiest step to do, look at the object. Do I love it? How do I feel about this? How does it make me feel inside? Tap into that. And then remove it. Put it in this box. And um, you can decide about what you want to do with it later. And maybe you just want to keep it and then put it back up at another point in time when you feel, if you do love it, you don't always, always have to stare at everything you love. If you stare at everything, you, if, if what you have around you, um, you love so much that you don't want to put away, it's overwhelming. It, in, it, in, um, it stops a flow of life. If we're tripping over visually and physically, our belongings. So you want to keep what you have out as um, real clear choices about what they are and how you feel about them. And uh, you'll be amazed at how different a space, how you will feel physically, how productive you can be and creative that you can be or relaxed you can be when you consciously clear a space of the clutter that we think is or thought was so important to have. So what's fun about this is that you don't have to make the big decisions as do I recycle, do I trash it, do I give it to somebody? Just remove it. First step is to remove it, put it in the crate. And um, yeah, put it in the crate and then um, you'll see, it leaves spaces clear, leave spaces empty, leave spaces available. Nature abhors a vacuum. So nature will fill that. You will find things to fill spaces if you need to. But one of the best things you can do for yourself is leave a space clear. Don't just automatically 
think you have to fill it again when you've emptied um, or made more made room for something else um, and when you do that what you're doing is you're making space for yourself you're making space for possibilities what do I want in my life really what do I want in my life and and how best can I uh, create that so be creative around the spaces you live in and work in and make a conscious decision about those things that you have around you things that are broken things that are old and and don't have much meaning um, get rid of if it doesn't give you a lift if it doesn't at least it should keep you um, settled and even okay if you feel good <laughs> you feel bad it makes you feel settled and even and feeling bad get rid of it move it into the box um, but if it uh, gives you a lift uh, and even if it gives you a lift and there's a lot of things that give you a lift remove some of them you can bring them back out and I do that often I have lots of things that my children made and they're precious to me but if I had them all out at one time ah, it'd be overwhelming where do I fit into that where is my life with that I love my children and those objects I love as well because they represent the love that my kids have for me and I for them but do I need to look at all the all them all the time I can't even see them all if they're all out I couldn't see them all it would just be look like a massive amount of stuff so remove the stuff find out who you are <laughs> by looking at what you have around you because that all represents who you are so make your choices carefully and um, yeah make your choices carefully it's it, it's fun and it'll lighten up your life and bring you maybe unexpected joys.